Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. Near the end of 2021, Matt Damon finally sold his Pacific Palisades mansion for $18 million. His LA home spanned over 13,000 square feet and had a unique blend of craftsman and Southeast Asian style with hints of California modern. These days, the actor and his family have a main residence in New York City, which is where they spend most of their time. In 2018, Matt dropped a record $16.7 million on a luxury Brooklyn townhouse, and it was even rumored that he and his wife were shopping for a home in Australia, a place that they also frequent. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Matt Damon is an actor, producer, and screenwriter who's also ranked as one of the most bankable stars. The many popular films that Matt has appeared in have grossed a collective $3.88 billion in North America, making him one of the highest grossing actors of all time. Furthermore, he's received a handful of awards over the years, including an Academy Award among them. All things considered, at the time of this recording, Matt's net worth is at an estimated $170 million, if not more. Despite offloading his sprawling mansion in the Pacific Palisades, Matt and his family had already moved to a lavish residence on the East Coast more specifically in Brooklyn, New York. He and his wife have also been rumored to be eyeing some real estate in Australia or at least spending a lot of time in the continent, more specifically in the celebrity-loved Byron Bay community. But I guess we'll see about that one. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, today looking at where Matt Damon calls home. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. In 2018, reports claimed that Matt Damon had purchased his current main residence in Brooklyn, New York. However, it said he didn't fully move in until 2020. His purchase of his current penthouse broke records in the Brooklyn area. Spending $16.7 million on a luxury multi floor unit at the top of the Standish building. While details and images of Matt's mansion in the sky are scarce, we do know that it boasts 6,218 square feet of space on the 11th and 12th floors plus the roof. Located in the newly refurbished and ultra exclusive apartment building, Matt's home is in New York City's historic Brooklyn Heights neighborhood. In 2020, outlets reported the entire block was shut down for a huge crane, and many actually spotted furniture being lifted up into this penthouse unit. The major hall reportedly included several trees to landscape his terrace, and no doubt this was all for Matt's family home. Apparently, it took an entire year for the actor to close on the home, and when he finally did, it made for the highest price paid for residential real estate in Brooklyn to date. The renovated former hotel that is the Standish where Matt lives is pitched as the place where the essence of the Beaux Arts movement meets the advances of the 21st century. This Standish was designed by Frank S. Lowe and built in 1903, but back then it served as an apartment hotel known as the Standish Arms Hotel and offering what was called understated luxury in an era of opulent man. It's one of the tallest buildings in this immediate area, offering residents on the upper levels wide open views across the East River to the Brooklyn Bridge and even of the Manhattan skyline. Exteriors boast symmetrical brick, terracotta, and limestone, and it's a 12-story building offering 31 residents and a handful of amenities. It's also right on the Brooklyn Heights promenade. Acquired by the Jehovah's Witnesses in the early 1980s, the Standish was sold in 2007 to a developer who then turned the building into rentals before it was reimagined into a luxury condominium development by Westbrook Partners and DDG Partners. Residents, Matt Damon included, pay pricey monthly charges to live at the building, and interiors offer a redesigned lobby with porcelain and marble finishes that just looks fancy already. They also get access to all of the upscale amenities at the Standish, including a 24-hour doorman and concierge services, a full fitness center, a children's playroom, and a shared rooftop terrace with panoramic water and city views. According to the Standish website, the spacious, comfortable accommodations appealed to the most discerning visitors. For more than a century, as Brooklyn Heights itself grew and matured, this storied hotel has retained the classic, quiet elegance of turn-of-the-century New York. 
The building also carries some pop culture. It was the name of the building where Superman's alter ego Clark Kent lived and it was used by late Brooklyn Heights resident Arthur Miller as the hotel name where Willie Loman has an affair in Death of a Salesman. Living here, Matt also has some celebrity neighbors too. Star couple Emily Blunt and John Krasinski have a unit at the Standish. At the end of 2021, Matt finally sold his former home, his Pacific Palisades area mansion. Considering he switched his main home to New York City, he didn't need his digs on the West Coast, having been trying to offload it since the early months of 2021. In the end, the actor collected $18 million for his crib in an off-market deal. Meanwhile, he had originally bought the home with his wife about a decade ago for $15 million. The home Matt lived at with his family for a handful of years sits in the much coveted Riviera pocket of the Pacific Palisades, located on the seaside in Los Angeles. The estate was zen and modern, made up of a creation of wood, stone and stucco pavilions, blending craftsman and Southeast Asian design with classic California contemporary. Matt's home sat on a quarter lot spanning over half an acre hidden from the street behind trees and gates and the Hawaiian looking mansion is tall as well as mass offering over 13,500 square feet of space throughout not to mention there are seven beds and ten baths inside so plenty of accommodation built in 2004 created by KAA design Matt's former home incorporated organic materials and only the best craftsmanship throughout the interior of this massive home is arranged around an atrium with 35 foot high ceilings topped by a mahogany ceiling. The common and private rooms surround the central atrium and include an impressive combination living dining room with garden views, as well as a large stone fireplace. Just a step down from here is the billiards lounge with wet bar and nearby there's a separate media lounge opening to the outdoors. The kitchen was simply fit for a celeb decked out in marble and mahogany with white marble countertops and wooden cabinets as well as top notch appliances. There's further a casual dining space and family room attached which boasts floor to ceiling walls of glass that open to give the space an easy indoor outdoor flow. The mansion also boasts a full basement level stacked with amenities as you might expect. These include a children's playroom den, a climate controlled wine cellar with tasting room and full home gym. Upstairs on the other hand contains a luxurious master suite which Matt and his wife no doubt enjoyed during their years living here. The primary bedroom includes a private terrace, indulgent massage room, stone covered and spacious ensuite bath and more. There are also two sprawling walk-in closets, one with a raised mahogany ceiling and the other with a long skylight, both with wall-to-wall -wall carpet for a cozy feel. The rest of the bedrooms all have en suites and two of the sleeping quarters are specifically said to be for live-in staff. Moving to the grounds of this impressive mega home, it's about as close to a Hawaiian paradise in LA as you're going to get with its many tropical plants and massive trees, creating an oasis. In addition to the entry courtyard with terrace, there's a large lawn with playground for the kids and an open air pavilion with plenty of space for outdoor dining and entertaining. Next to this breezy pavilion, you'll find the Bali style swimming pool to round out the stunning backyard. Well, now we've investigated where Matt Damon and his family call home, so that's going to bring this house tour to an end. While rumors were swirling that Matt and his family were going to secure a property way across the globe in Australia, there's been no truth to that thus far. The couple was spending a lot of time in the Byron Bay community in Australia, a surf-centered and scenic area much loved among celebs. Matt was seen looking at a modern mansion above Watigo's Bay here, but while it was said that he dropped $22 million on the place, it was never confirmed he actually purchased it. More recent reports claim that Matt and his family were just staying at a rental mansion there, notably during pandemic time. We do know he's traded in his LA for New York though, and his current current main home is in Brooklyn. After seeing Matt's homes, what did you guys think? Be sure to tell me what you liked or didn't like about his real estate down in that comment section. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!